find the remaining hill priests by activating your celestial locator. Hello everybody and welcome back to Doom Eternal. This is KV Photon, reactivating my celestial locator, whatever the hell that is. The second hell priest is located in the northern region of Earth. I will calibrate the portal now. Thank you. The hub has several areas locked off due to power constraints. Once power has been restored, you will be able to access the entire ship. The hub. So here we are, back with Doom. This is our little intermission space in the Fortress of Doom. Or as Vega calls it, the hub. Zero, no. El pre signal detected. Cultist base. Negative 40, damn. Alright. I don't know what master levels are. Alright. Here we are with Doom. Running around our base, the Fortress of Doom. Also known as the hub, apparently. And this is a pretty nice little intermission space that they give us. Because we lets us collect Sentinel batteries throughout the game. And everyone knows that, you know, collectibles are amazing. I certainly like collectibles. And then we just plug the Sentinel batteries into stuff. And it unlocks things. This is our first unlock, so, you know, it's kind of tutorial. Not a whole lot for us to do. Establishing power to core and supplementary systems. But as you collect the batteries, like that's a classic Doom Guy skin, it looks like. Yeah. And you can jump down here. Weapon mods. Praetor suit tokens. Praetor suit tokens. Weapon mods. There's all kinds of stuff that you can unlock. Custom skins. There's this badass thing. The only thing I know about this is that it is called the Unmaker, and that I, to, this is what you do with the keys from the Slayer Gates. And apparently that's how you put the key in. They just turned off one little thing. So I'm super excited to see what this is about. I like the architecture. That's the Con Maker, I think. And that's cool. Just that... Objectively, that is cool. Anyways, we're gonna get ourselves. You're not built yet. You need more power. Where's the ice bomb? It's up here. We're gonna get ourselves our next piece of equipment to go with the flamethrower the ice bomb. To freeze some bitches. Your equipment launcher has been completed. Once fired, the bomb will douse nearby enemies in freezing gases. You'll have to manually toggle the launcher to fire either ice bombs or frag grenades. At Doom's Gate. Now, if that's not a blast from the past for people, go play the original Doom games. It's worth it. They're challenging, they're fast paced, they're good. See where first person gaming really came from. This is an ARC broadcast to any ARC personnel or survivors operating inside the Hellified zones. Please be advised. More Doom Slayer sightings have been coming in. ARC leadership do not recommend any attempts to communicate with the Slayer directly. Please avoid all contact with Doom Guy at this time. While it is clear that the Slayer is an enemy of the challenge, it is unclear if he could also be a threat to civilians. That's reasonable. <laughs> I am a threat to the mortally challenged, which is such a good way to put that. And I, I, I cannot confirm or deny whether or not Doom Guy would be a hazard to civilians. That's fair. Where do you want me to go? Take the lift down to the prison. Visit the demon prison. Why? Alright. But yeah, see, the game doesn't give you a lot of direction. Like, Vega is just like, yeah, put in some power and then we can teleport you somewhere. That's cool. At no point did Vega mention, like, oh yeah, while you're at it, why don't you go check out the demon prison? That'd be cool. Ah. Interesting. So that can also happen here. Alright. How do I get to the demon prison? Uh, okay. Oh, there's a codex page, too. 
Are you behind something? Do I need more batteries to get you? You are behind this door. Ah, yes. Ah, there's the codex about the Fortress of Doom. This is Doom Guy's little garage. There's all the guns that I have so far, which, you know, not really many. Nothing to go home about. Ah, there's Daisy. I suggest Googling it, because I really didn't know anything about this damn rabbit, except all the memes that were coming out. A weapon, a grind, a sharpener. We can sharpen some things. We got nunchucks over here, because, sure. Is that a car? Sorry, I had to sneeze. Alright. Glory kill one. Rip and tear. Daisy picks. Collectible shotgun portraits. Best kills. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what these... Some of these... That looks very similar to the robots that we're seeing out and about. That does not. It's a mouse pad. Like This, this is great. This is just great. All the little bits. That's where I work on my armor, man. He's got his little Hoyer lifty thing here. Can take my armor, work on that. That looks like that could do some damage. These are fucking guitars. I, yes. <laughs> that would be awesome. I want to see the Garage Band Doom Guy Metal Rock Show. All the little toys that you collect go up here. There's some funny books. Retconned, The Life and Times of Flynn Taggart. I don't know who Flynn Taggart is, but there's a lot of shit being retconned in this game. How to Comb Your Mustache. The Vault Dweller Survival Guide. Come on. It is Bethesda, after all. To pray or not to pray, but pray with an E. <laughs> From Nope Fish to Dope Fish. The Dope Tale. The Strog. Living with rage. Ah. <laughs> uh, Doom. Doom 2. Quake. The art of Doom. I mean, come on. This is cool. Just to kind of give you guys a shot of the shelf here. The Keiko in the Rye. Ah. Uh, eat, rip, tear. <laughs> There's so much good little things they added here. But I need to get down to the demon prison. Because apparently I have a demon prison. Oh my god, I want it! Give me that! Give it to me! Why do I have a demon prison? Oh, I want it. And the demon prison acts like a little training ground punish demons in the prison. The Ripatorium. Ah, oh, I love it. There will be a little pop-up here in a second. There we go. Practice fighting demons without dying or permanently losing inventory, such as ammo and extra lives. New encounters unlock as you progress through the campaign. So, I mean, this is kind of cool. It's a way for you to practice trying out fighting demons with new weapons, new tactics, do, you know, whatever. But you don't permanently lose any ammo. I don't know, like, what it does about the ammo. Like, just maybe it makes a small checkpoint when you walk in and then restores it when you leave. I don't know. Oh, hey, the heat is on. So you can make progression with your master class, um, master upgrades, and This could be a fun place to go, just to unlock stuff. I don't know. Are there like, I don't know if how this works though. Are there like waves? Guess, because then it just gave me my ammo back. 
How do I start a new way? I don't I don't really know how this functions yet. I haven't messed with it. But if I can still unlock my weapon stuff here, then maybe I'll spend some time. Exit prison. That's cool, that's where that takes you. Why are a Praetor suit point? So these little guys are gonna start popping up in the world. Praetor suit points. And you have several different categories of upgrades that you can do. And let's see, I have one point. Uh, select a category. Faster ledge grab. Reveals the auto map station on the map. So now I always know where my auto map station is. That's cool. That's helpful. Little tokens with the Slayer symbol on them. Why, thank you, sir. Configure the mission teleporter. One of the best little spaceship interaction things I've ever seen was with Metroid Prime. Uh, Metroid Prime 3, when they had like all the motion controls and stuff for the, the Nintendo Wii or whatever it was, that really felt good. They overdid it in a few places. I... I have a couple issues with the game itself, but the way they chose to implement and showcase the, the fancy new motion control tech was really nice. Apparently that's how you configure the teleporter. Just push the button. Update available. This is an ARC broadcast. To any ARC personnel or survivors operating inside the Helified Zones, please be advised. More Doom Slayer sightings. Oh, this is the same. This is the same Arc one. Leadership do not recommend yeah. any well, see, last time Arc leadership were denying that I existed, so I guess that's progress. The cultist base. Let us rip and tear some cults. And this is a level that I know I missed a bunch of shit on the first time I went through it. So let me just apologize now for all the times that I'm going to be stopping and just opening my map and staring at things. There are a few secrets that I'm going to be able to show you, so don't worry too much about that. Oh yeah, and we have challenges now. This is new! Complete one challenge, you get, I think, a suit point. Complete three challenges, you get a sentinel battery. Which is really nice. Because you can unlock some good stuff with those. I had to sneeze again. Yeah, so these are a new thing that they're adding here. And it's just something to be aware of. And you have weapon challenges. And weekly challenges. And all sorts of fun stuff. Um, Arsenal, I only have two points. Alright. There's a... I know there's a combat challenge, like, on the other side of this wall. There's a place I can grapple to. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything important. Fuck you. Fuck all of you. Get the blood punch charged up, and we'll just zap you apart. The armored spine. Yep, there's like hazards on the climby walls now. There's a thing there. It's not showing up on my map yet. One of the things that you can do once you get a couple weapon points is there's uh, an upgrade for the suit called, uh, I think it's called Bigger Fog Lights, and it just increases the range that you reveal on the map when you go places. Really handy for finding stuff. Ow. Didn't really do any damage, but... Yep. What are you? A gargoyle. Alright. I hate those gargoyles. All the enemies in this game, man, they are all deadly in the right circumstances, and you have to pay attention to this shit. Hit, hit the explosive. Oh, 
Which, in my opinion, is a good part of the enemy design that every single one of these demons has the potential to be deadly. Some more so than others. But then it's also like a big thing about the situation and what range they're at. And I need to light a bunch of people on fire. So much armor. Infiltrate the cultist base. The hell priest is somewhere in this facility. I cannot pinpoint his exact location at this time. So the first secret I'm going to show you guys, there is a sentinel battery right up there. And we're going to jump on this little ledge around the back. Punch plate. And now we can get to it. Because what that did, is that lowered the little fence on this jump pad. Which, god, these things make the dumbest noise. Who picked that? Oh, battery! Another fun little easter egg. That guy. I don't know who that's supposed to be. Kind of looks like Slimer from the Ghostbusters. But, I thought that was neat. Not low ammo anymore. What's up? Board. Bridge. Word. One up there, but I can't get to it. You guys just want to shoot each other. Oh yeah, that's a new guy. I think he's a, what do they call that, a mecha zombie? Can I get to that? Can I get to the swing pad out there? Oh, there's an, wait, there's an extra life back here? Hold on. I don't have any of those. Because I'm bad and I die a lot. Where was there an extra life? Is it inside him? It would seem... Oh, okay. I'm only losing armor right now. I'm not really losing health yet. Oh, it's a secret! <laughs> ah, I did not know that. Boop. No. Yes. Okay. That was fun. All right. Gonna get in here for some fun new friends. Yeah. Whatever you see, these green pad things. That's a button. You should shoot it. It'll make a thing happen. Cultist key, which I do not have. All right. So yeah, we have to go over here and push the button. There we go. That's a window, so you can't actually go that way. Is my time making it? Let's see if you're strong enough to survive this cursed citadel. Why is the citadel cursed? And why are you just living in a cursed citadel? Seems like a strange choice. Oh, fuck. Woo -hoo. This fucking has arrived. All mortally challenged personnel, please be advised. <laughs> uh are we saying that the Hell Knight was mortally challenged? Did you guys just shoot the bomb to try and blow me up? That's not nice. This is a new switch that they add into the game here. You just have to stand on it. But it means you have to hold still for a certain amount. Oh, that's right. Hello, Mancubus. So one of the most dangerous things about the Mancubus is the flamethrower that he whips out if you get too close. Blowing off the little cannons 
disables his flamethrower. And also makes his just basic attacks do a lot less damage. Hopefully that did something. It might not. Get rid of that. Did that actually hit the other one? Oh, it did. It worked. Okay. So he is significantly less dangerous at the moment. Now, with the Mancubus, less dangerous is not not dangerous. Oh, and you're a different one. You still have your guns. Let's get rid of that. Okay, I see what's happening here. We just have several of you. I kind of want the glory kill. But with the other Mancubus up there. Come up. Come up. Come up. There it is. Hey, Tubby. Is just ripping out your hearts not enough? Okay. So this one's green. It's a Praetor token. There's an extra life. There's a Praetor token. I remember this area being a little bit of a challenge to get through. You're nice and simple. Thank you, sir. I only have... I have two. Suit. Exploration. Bigger fog lights. Thank you. And then you want that one. To reveal the, reveal the position of all items. I could have just saved up and went straight for it instead of for the bigger lights. Wouldn't be a bad idea. But I like having the bigger radius because it can it shows you more than just the pickup locations. It also shows you certain map elements that can help you out. Alright, I need to take his turret off with the shotgun. Got it! Oh yeah! And there was a challenge to just destroy the turret. Thank you for staying stunned so long. Oh, and I have the fuel! There we go. Thank you. Weapon point acquired. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way first, because I think this is the way to the extra life. Yeah. Apparently it's a secret, even though it was a big giant green thing. And then the gate comes down, and it's like, alright, you can just go this way now. You did what you were supposed to do, so we're not going to make you crawl back through all that stuff. Which, in my opinion, is just a sign of good design. You're going to squish me. Yep, you're going to squish me. So I'm going to wait, and I'm going to get this piece of armor here. Boop. And just wait for it to come back down, and then climb on. Because those ones have the red death goop on them. That's the technical term. Red death goop. So you'll start encountering these little jump pads that are blocked off. You just have to get underneath it. It opens up automatically. It's just a way to force you to the jump pads from a certain spot. The cult is key. Ah, a little too far away. Hell Knight, come on. Wow, you guys won. You killed the Hell Knight. Revenant. Fun thing about the plasma rifle with the Revenants is when you get that overload heated shot, if it's fully charged and you're close enough, and sometimes I feel like there, you have to be like at the right angle, but you can rip both their cannons off with that one thing, and it's very handy. Alright, that's all that stuff. There's a Praetor token out there still to get. Plasma rifle can destroy energy shields. But so does this. Now we can... Yeah, because it overloads the shields and makes them explode. And you know, it's Doom. Anything that you can use to make an explosion is a good thing. Right. 
This needs to turn on so I can open that door. There's a combat challenge here. Alright, so I need to find a way to get onto the other side of that wall. And I've done this before. I'm just trying to remember... Ah, there it is. Alright, so we're going to drop down. I'm not a fan of the way you have to move around on these. Gotcha. Okay. Break. Into a new toy. The rocket launcher. Do I have enough points? Lock on. Oh, I have to actually find the thing, though. I have to find the little drone. Ah, because this lock-on burst is so good. That's alright. Oh, shit. He was... There's one right there. Yep. Did that take both cannons off? It did. That is good to know. Blood punches, my friend. There you go, Tubby. Alright. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot of you. I do not like the Mancubus at all. Ow, 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 ow. Come here. Blood punch for you. Ah, damn it. Gargoyles. <laughs> go, 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 go. Move. Okay. Get some distance. Oof. I heard one of those cannons come off, though. That's good. Are you dead? You're dead. Thank you. You don't need that, do you? Nah, you don't need that. You're you're fine. Ah, uh, too far away. Nope, not too far away. Goodbye. Health and armor. Infiltrate the cultist base. Does that mean it's done here? It's done here. There's a rune. There's an extra life over here. Where? Straight through this way? Is there something I can break? Is there a punchy wall? What's this? Which gives me... It's to my left, and it's kind of down. Huh. Well, I'm just going to kind of leave that then. I like having the extra lives, but the goal is not to need them, so I don't usually go out of my way for them. And crap. Avoid those little things. New rune. All right. Movement control in the air is really good. Killed by equipment or while under the... So that'll bring me back all my equipment faster, which is nice. Blood punch causes them to drop health. Survive a death blow and slow down time, giving you a chance to recover. Yes. Recharges on death. So you can only do it once. Per death. Be <laughs> the saving throw. Ha ha ha. I get one nat 20 on a saving throw that just kind of saves up. Then we can get up here. And why is this here? Because I can stand on this. What are you doing? Oh! Secret found. Full health, full ammo, full armor. And then the fun can begin. Start the next combat challenge. This is when we get introduced to a new enemy. Come on, guys. The Whiplash! It's 
sashimi. Oh, yep, yep, rockets, close range, hurt yourself, it's bad. Oh, there's my, my slow-mo for free thing. I didn't think I was going to use that right away. Oh, don't be a bitch, Whiplash. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. Weapon point acquired. Alright, I'm at full health, so I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah, you would never be able to hold still long enough to open this door before completing that challenge. Lock on burst. This is a very handy tool. Will save you many times. Thank you, Vega. Oh, I don't think I need it like right this second. Yeah, I don't. Thank you. Lost the health, but did come out of it with some armor. But don't forget about this one, guys. This one took me a minute to find. Crater token. Then we're gonna be down here. Doop, 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 doop. Full health. Move this. So now we need to find a way to open this door. And to do that. We hop all the way up here. And just kick the chain. Or punch the chain, as the case may be. Another reason to always kind of keep an eye on your map is you can see how the floor is turning red there, so I know I'm getting ready to walk into another combat challenge. It's always good to just have that little advance warning for when you're going to walk into something crazy. I'm seeing one missed extra life, but other than that, I'm doing pretty good. The beast trusts the enemy, my brothers and sisters, but he is weak. Your hate must match his will. Only then will you be truly safe. Yes. Deal with the Mancubus first, in my opinion. Because they have really heavy firepower, and they have long range. So they'll be able to harass you with, like, serious consequences during the entire fight if you don't take care of them soon. When possible, try to blow up those shields, because you can clear out not only the annoying guy with the shield, but sometimes you can take a, a few of the guys that are nearby them as well. Don't forget your weapon challenges. And don't forget your glory kills. Keep that blood punch charged. Take care of your blood punch, it'll take care of you. Hi there! While you're in the glory kills, you are temporarily invulnerable, so use that. Rockets and barrels will hurt you when they blow up. The grenades coming off your shotgun will not. It's very important. Eight. Ah! <sighs> I was doing so good.